I'm going to show you how to work with hours and minutes in Excel. Um, I have my standard leave tracker for uh, vacation, personal, and sick days up here. And now, normally, um, it, it's easy because the hours that they're um, they're off are usually like eight hours for an eight-hour workday or seven hours for a seven-hour workday. But in this particular instance, they worked seven hours and 45 minutes. And so that made me have a few more difficulties in subtracting when they left for full days. Now, 45 minutes, if in this cell down here, what I've done here is 45 minutes divided by 60. So that's 0.75 of an hour. Now, um, that uh, isn't important, but later it will be. Now, let me show you what happens. So um, I'm going to use Stanley here, and I'm going to, so the 175 uh, vacation hours and the personal hours and the sick hours comes from sheet two, where they have what they've, uh, what they've earned based on the number of years they've worked, and then the uh, personal hours and the sick, the sick hours are right here. Now, um, on sheet one, so here we're going to go, we're going to enter leave, we're going to enter Stanley, and he's going to have vacation for one day in January. So I'm going to select Stanley, and type of leave he's going to have is he's going to have vacation. And the month, let's go January, just because it's right here. And let's go the fourth, and so I'm going to do the fourth twice because it's He's only having one day vacation and okay so now let's look at his vacation right now is 175 hours now we're going to look we're going to take away seven hours and 45 minutes so we need a remainder of this afterwards and so if i go um enter enter leave then um then you see that his vacation is entered but now he has 167 hours and 15 minutes left over and the other ones are now displayed in minutes with hours and minutes as well so let's let's clear this form so now let's go for stanley let's go um stanley again let's go uh personal and let's say he's going on personal on the 6th of january Okay, and then I'm once more, I'm going to enter leave and his personal will be 35, uh, 35 hours minus the seven, uh, seven hours and 45 minutes. So I'm going to enter it. So now he has 27 hours and 15 minutes remaining. And the same thing is going to happen with the sick. Now, let me show you the code. I'm, um, I have one set of code for just entering the values, and that's not important, but I, what I'm going to show you is how it calculates the hours. So the code I'm going to bring up, so I have code here called subtotal hours, and the first row is where the name is located um, on, on this sheet, and the name is obviously the name, and that's what I'm carrying over from the other, um, the other program that I'm running. Now, what it's doing is on sheet three, which is the name where, where we have our total hours and our um, and uh, the, the values that they have obtained, is I'm searching by the name, and then, um, then you have not found, or it's a row number, is a range row. Okay, so the, the sum of the value is, the sum of the vacation equals um, the sheet three, which is where the totals are, the row number, which is the one next to their name, and the, the, and the column five and their value. The same thing for the personal. The sum of the personal leave is the, is the six value, and the sum of the sick leave is the seven. Now, what we're doing is we're going to sheet one here. I say sheet one, activate. Now, what I'm doing is I'm setting the year. So I'm saying from ranges five to 370, so five is where... Um, five is where the January 1st starts with. And so five until 370, so plus 364, 365, and you get 370. So vacation 
and I'm using the count if function. So I'm using application count if. So I've declared what the year is, and I'm asked, I'm counting how many vacations you have in that year. The same thing for how many personal you have in that year and how many six you have in that year. Okay, so now what I'm doing, this is where it gets slightly tricky. So I'm doing, so let's talk about vacation. So I'm doing the difference equals the sum of vacation, which we're getting from the other sheet, minus the number of fees they have in that sheet times 7.75. And as we calculated on our first sheet, uh, 0.75 is what equals um, 45 minutes out of an hour. Okay. So now what we do is we have a number that has, um, it has decimal places along with it. So what we're doing is we're going hours equals fixed difference, which is this is fixed is the equivalent of truncation using the trunk function in uh, on the sheet functions. So fixed is just whatever the whole number is. And then the minutes is um, the difference. So that's what we calculated up here minus our fixed. And then we take our, um, our decimal and we're multiplying by 60 to get the minutes. And so now to this, just because um, we keep if it tries to put in minutes and seconds, yeah, it's going to screw up the, the format. So what I'm doing is I'm formatting the format, the cells to the general, so I can put in text here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm putting in a text value because what I'm doing is the hours um, ampersand. So I'm putting the comma to put, uh, to add the minutes plus fixed minutes. So that is giving us our format here where we're having the hours of 167 plus the comma is the minutes and it automatically puts on the seconds. Now that's how it works for each of these different uh, vacation, personal and sick. And that, that's how the calculation is done. I will of course include this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.